Hi, I'm Ree from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel. And this is our week four update of our new house renovation project. Now, technically today is Sunday. So four weeks will actually take us up to Tuesday. So this is actually not quite four weeks into the project, but Tuesday is Christmas Eve. As you can see, we're feeling kind of festive. Um, so I wasn't gonna have a chance to film on Tuesday. So it's like, this is like nearly four weeks of work. I will take you around and show you everything that's been done and so much has changed. Honestly, every time I come here, I am amazed at how much my husband has managed to get done. It's him and one other guy that are here five days a week. He's here pretty much seven days a week. And then they've had a couple of other people kind of subbed in to do plastering and things, but mostly it's kind of all him. Anyway, if you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. Now let's take a little look around. I'm currently standing in what will be Dylan's room. Not much has changed in here. There's a lot of electrical stuff that's gone on and the ceiling has been plastered, but not yet painted. Um, so lighting has been changed. They used to just have wall lights. They've gone and we've got like the center light here. We are gonna put a big, like a walk-in wardrobe at the back. So there'll be a wardrobe for Dylan, but also like in the house we live in at the moment, um, some of the children, at least two of them actually, have um, wardrobe storage for additional things like winter coats and stuff that we store in a portion of their wardrobe. So some of the like extra coats that we're not wearing at the time can be stored in there. And then there should be enough space in here for a desk, a bed, and maybe hopefully a sofa. Not quite sure, but I would like him to maybe have that in here. So it's kind of like um, like a sort of a living roomy kind of teenager's bedroom. Um, obviously all this is going, these are all the radiators that um, have been ripped out. This one still needs to be done, but other than that, I think most of the radiators around the house have been changed. So going out into the hall, this is looking amazing now because this was really quite dark and all these spots, obviously they need poking back up into the ceiling. It's because the ceiling needs to be painted first. When the ceiling's been painted, obviously they're all gonna be poked back up and this hallway is just so much brighter, which is fantastic. Uh, this door that's been delivered, I believe is for here. Is that right? Is this door in the hall for the downstairs loo? No. No? Oh, maybe that's the airing cupboard then. Is that, that the airing cupboard? That's for upstairs. Okay, so that door's actually for upstairs. Never mind. Um, in here, again, not a great deal has changed other than the ceiling has been changed and the spots have been put in up there. Um, by change, I mean plastered, obviously. But other than that, this is kind of, it's gonna be left till last because we have to have somewhere for people to go to the toilet until the upstairs bathroom is done. So moving through the nicely, nice bright hall now. This is all gonna be, cupboards and various things, but that's like a later on kind of project. In what will be my office, the ceiling is done, the spots are in, very exciting. So the boiler is gonna stay here, but we're gonna put like a kitchen cupboard thing around it so I don't have to look at it. Um, around here, there's gonna be, the blinds need to go up. Um, around here is gonna be some form of desk, maybe some kind of sofa in here. And then there's gonna be calyx units, which are those big um, like Ikea shelving units across here to section off. I'm hoping one day we can add a wall in here, but my husband's not convinced. Um, and then across the back is going to be all my laundry sorting. I'm gonna have the washing machine and tumble dryer in there, um, along with like an airing cupboard with a big long rail. So I can take the wet stuff out of the washing machine and hang it directly up. If you have seen my laundry routine video, you'll see that that's how I get out of doing a lot of ironing, by hanging a lot of stuff up directly um, on hangers when it's wet. It also makes clothes last a bit longer, I do find. So we're gonna be able to stick with that system, as well as the system of taking stuff out of the dryer and sorting it into different boxes and things. But go and check out that video if you wanna know what I'm on about. So this door has been bricked up and plastered, I don't know if there's bricks, but it's been plastered, um, because this is, hello, there's a husband look. Um, this is now gonna be the lounge. We originally thought this was gonna be the kitchen, but plumbing has made us change our minds. So we're gonna have TV up here, and then an L-shaped sofa probably along here. And then until the extension's done, the dining table's gonna go here. But when the extension is done, the dining table will go out there in the extension. So this is all looking nice, nicely skimmed ceilings. So ready for painting, spots are in. 
And then um, I think we're gonna go kitchen shopping from Boxing Day, actually, um, to have a look at cabinets and kitchen tiles. I did fancy those subway brick tiles, didn't I, for kind of between the um, higher units and the lower units for around there. And then just like a sort of a gray um, tile on the floor. But yeah, all that's going to be chosen from Boxing Day. And I do want a nice center island. I've always wanted a nice center island. So we're gonna put one of those in there. And then this is getting knocked through into an extension, but that might be after we move in. Not 100% sure. Okay, back out. So, and we gonna head upstairs. Now this makes me feel a little bit sick. <laughs> You guys know how I feel about heights. <laughs> and they have been walking along this board to paint up there. My palms are literally sticky even thinking about someone standing on that because I do not like heights at all. So up here, uh, let's see what's been going on. Seriously, how can you not be terrified at the idea of walking up there? Does this not terrify anyone else? I am like, bleh, sticky palms lots of um, writing on the wind, on the walls, which, um, oh wow, look at Zara's room. It's actually had all undercoat. It's looking pretty like a room. And obviously it's not finished, it's kind of undercoated, but it's now got the right radiator, skirting, floor's all done. So this is ready for kind of top coat. And what a difference. Oh, we've even got door handles. <gasps> Look at these. Ooh, I like, and I know that all the old doors didn't shut properly. Ah, <sighs> Look at that. That is lovely. So, liking that very much. Okay, into our room, which also has a door and a door handle. <gasps> Amazing. Okay, so ceiling's been painted in here. Still looking a bit yellow on walls and things, but I think this is kind of like a workroom for now. Like there's all sort of all sorts of machinery that he's been using to cut up wood, I assume. Not sure, not entirely sure. Um there we go. So we've now got, I think I said last time this had been changed. Um some sort of hot water tank and other system. I don't really know. I shall have to check if I'm honest. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this, but I'm told it's all good and it's all going to work beautifully. We'll have nice, hot, powerful showers and a backup system if one system was to go down. So in here, the bath is staying because it's a cast iron bath and it's, you know, solid. So that is staying. But we do have to choose new taps um, and new plug hole heat type things. The tiles are going to be tiled over with the tiles that we went to choose in the Shopping for Tiles and Losing the Will to Live video. Um, so this is going to be fully tiled. The spots are in and the ceiling is a nice like painted colour. Hooray, so that's looking good. So I think, and again, we've got to shop for bathrooms over the Christmas break, but I think it's going to be a towel rail. Oh, no, no, that's it's there, isn't it? Tea rail. Towel rail there, sink here, shower there, toilet there. Obviously, bath is staying here. And I think we're gonna like utilize this space by putting some bathroom storage up here, like high up so the children can't reach it. And the door is gonna open this way onto the bath. Um, I am gonna have some shelving in here just to store clean towels. But I'm not gonna use this for any laundry storage or bedding or anything. That's all gonna go into individual rooms. Into Bella's room, which has got a door handle, looking so nice. And then, oh look, high up points for television, that's all in. So it's had an undercoat in here. It's already looking a million times better, isn't it? Um, the door, oh, it's just looking, I really feel like it's coming together now, which is great. Nice double sockets added, because all those have to be changed. Uh, so out here, we do have spots. We've got a new loft hatch. I think everything was like this yellow or green color and now it's all going kind of this the, the color of the paint isn't actually white it's like the palest gray ever um so that's what uh is going on oh, look, we've got little little lists all over the place that's good okay so will's tv is going to go here i'm assuming but i was thinking maybe wardrobes 
along there. I'm still not sure how we're gonna set out this room other than I know his bed, well, it's either gonna go there or there. If it fits along there, we're gonna have a high bed with a desk underneath. Maybe that's the place for it. I originally thought along here, but then maybe if we have his bed along there, we could have wardrobes along there because I don't want wardrobes on an outside wall. So not that wall or that wall. Um, and then I think this will be a lovely room for him, but and it is a smaller room, but he is gonna have double the space because he's gonna have a high bed with a desk underneath. So thank you so much for watching and joining along on our journey. Do not forget to subscribe so you do not miss any more of our updates. I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. and hit the bell to get notifications when those videos go live. If you wanna watch my latest video, it's just over here and more house renovation project goodness stuff is all down here. I shall see you guys very, very soon. Bye.